And we unlock the final world. Wistful Wild. Uh, yeah, we ain't, we ain't going there. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the Valley of Repose. We also now have a solid gold spaceship. <laughs> Because we're rich now. <laughs> the Valley of Repose. <laughs> yeah, so we have a secondary Pikmin partner now. The President. <laughs> I love the President. Mr. President! You've arrived! The my scans indicate this planet is still heavily laden with treasure. We shall make Hakatate Freight the golden, indisputable king of deep space long haul freight. Then everyone will be gaudily clad in gold like me. No, I am unique and beautiful, yes. Olimar, I must ask that you take extreme care so as not to insult or endanger our president. For now, where could Louis be to be stuck on an uncivilized planet with no food at all? I am concerned. You must waste no time in finding him. Is post-game harder than the main game? <laughs> um, yes. A lot harder. <laughs> oh, you've, you've seen nothing yet. You have seen nothing yet, as far as the difficulty is concerned. Choo -choo! Choo -choo! So, for Valley of Repose, we got locked out of the rest of it because we didn't have Water Pikmin. We don't have that problem anymore. <laughs> I love how the president's whistle sounds like a car horn. Or like a truck horn. It's fantastic. Stay back. I think, is there a burrowing snake right up here? No. There's a burrowing snake right somewhere, though. Actually, he might be up here. <laughs> Welcome to hell. That is accurate. Now, here's the thing. The overworld for Valley of Repose really isn't going to be any more difficult than it was at the beginning of the game, but because we're entering a new part of the overworld, the enemies we face here will be a lot harder than what we saw at the beginning of Valley of Repose. Hooray! Okay, water dumples. I don't like that, necessarily. So this here is the decorated cannon larva. This is the kind that shoots homing boulders. Which we can use to our advantage. Kabloosh. <laughs> Skadoosh. But yeah, the, the, we have two caves remaining here in the Valley of Repose. They're both going to be a, a lot harder than anything we've seen before. Or at the very least, on par with Submerged Castle. See ya. Alright. Just don't don't pay any attention to the water dumples. We just need you to build the bridge. Cool. Choo-choo! I wonder if I can trick the larva into killing each other. Boom. Cool, cool. Yeah, let's just take this guy out. Ah! I thought that boulder was going to be destroyed. Okay. <laughs> New plan. 
We're gonna make this guy shoot himself. Well, we're gonna attempt to make this guy shoot himself. <laughs> yeah. This is why I actually kind of prefer the decorated cannon larva rather than the armored cannon larva, because you can literally make them kill themselves. Which sounds really dark, I know, but you you know what I mean. Okay. That back there is not fun. So we're gonna hold off on that for a good while. Back there is a fiery bulblax and a bunch of water dumples, and I don't really want to have to deal with them right now. Take out the watery blowhog. Get him out of here! Oh hey, it's a withering blowhog. Let's give him the good old PNF 404 welcome. And we build the bridge. Alright, Omar. While they're doing that, go back to base and get some white Pikmin. Be a gem. I played Mario Party growing up. Always hated it. Because that's the epitome of a game where you can do everything right and still completely lose. Through no fault of your own. I feel like a coin flip has as much skill involved as Mario Party. I know it's not really true because the, some of the minigames are skill-based, but not really a fan. And by not really a fan, I mean I do not play that game. <laughs> Alright, I believe there is a treasure over here that is buried underground. There we go, yep. Dig that sucker up. Oh, nice, nice job, gentlemen. So here's a new cave. Yet another cave discovered. Venturing to the farthest reaches has proven rewarding. You may be tired of walking, but just one last leap remains. Now go get that treasure. It's not one last leap, there are still two other caves. So this is the Frontier Cavern. And yeah, every type of hazard awaits us in there. Oh hey, we dug up like a, a lettuce. I think. That was a weird zigzag. Oh no, that's an artichoke heart. Or just an artichoke. That's a tiny artichoke if that's the case. Or like a, just a tulip bulb, bulb. The spiny alien treat. Oh yeah. That is very much a game where it's just the game decides whether you win or lose. Also, if we go back to the place where Louie crash landed, there should be a treasure buried where he fell. At least I think... Nope, I'm dead wrong about that. I thought there was a treasure buried where Louis fell. That would have been a great place to hide a buried treasure. And th this is where I wish you could do the Pikmin free fiend and be like, move here, and then while they're automatically moving over there, you can have the other captain do something else. Pikmin 2 two-player. Like, you could do the actual story mode two-player. That would be great. I know there is Pikmin 2 multiplayer that's competitive as well as cooperative. Two different modes, one competitive, one cooperative, but it's not the main story. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was weird. <laughs> Alright, you guys break down this gate. That includes you, Kevin. Now, up here, yeah. Oh, okay. So this isn't the decorated one, this is just the armored cannon larva. Oh, 
Yeah, wow. Omar, it's a flesh wound. Just, just walk it off. Trust me, it's a lot easier to spank him to death than it is to bring try to bring Pikmin up here while dodging the boulders. Just just trust me on that. <laughs> Come on. Beat him up. Would I consider Star Fox 64? Yes, I would. Definitely. That may or may not be on my very, very long list of stuff to stream slash play. I love that game. Definitely the best Star Fox game. Although I do like Assault as well. For me, Star Fox 64 single player can't be touched, but Assault had really good multiplayer. Come on, just spank him to death already. It's getting boring. Omar and Louie, not Louie, Omar and the President spend about eight hours in game spanking this guy's butt over and over again. Slowly killing him. And he doesn't seem to know how to turn around. Oh, come on, Omar, stop getting pushed around. Alright. I leave you there. Oh, sweet! Wonderful, you guys broke down the gate. Is this where the next cave is? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, here we go. Oh boy. I, can, I don't know which is worse. This cave or the other cave in the Valley of Repose. Interesting, my metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below, but that seems illogical. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's the subterranean complex. I truly don't know whether the subterranean complex is going to be more difficult or less difficult than the Frontier Cavern. They are both going to be on a completely different level than anything else we've seen thus far. I'm not going to enter either of those caves yet. Instead, now that we've killed that uh, the larva up here, now we're going to bring our Pikmin up here. Because there is a crown up there that seems to be the same type of crown that is worn by the princess of the Mushroom Kingdom. Wow. This is, again, it's one of those cases where it's like, okay, in real life you would easily be able to walk up and down that slope. Oh, is Automod being stupid? <laughs> Don't if if your if your fin got flagged by auto mod and it wasn't anything bad. Don't worry about it. Auto mod can just be really stupid sometimes and be like, "Oh my gosh, you said the word butt. You can't do that." I think I I it used to be worse. I turned it down from the strictest setting. I originally had it set like it like check everything basically like that could possibly be seen as bad and it's like. It was, I think it literally flagged the word dumb once, where I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I just, I just basically don't want people to drop swear words in chat. Unless they're used in, like, the, the actual way that they're meant to be. Okay, um, that's, okay, yes, good. I was about to be, um, you're taking them this way, right? And not through the red bull orb, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's literally Princess Peach's crowd. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Peach has got it. The unspeakable wonder. 120 po- I expected a crown to be worth a little more than that. I do declare. Oh. 
We're gonna get a lot more blue Pikmin today, I guess. <laughs> Figured I can't let the corpses go to waste. Alright, folks. I think I have it in me to do one more cave today. Oh, no. Where's that last Pikmin? Oh, no. Oh, no. There's one Pikmin all the way back there. You've got to be kidding me. You said hell, but you also used hell in the context that it should... No! No, 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 no. If I get screwed over by one Pikmin being like, I'm not moving. I'm not gonna make it there in time, am I? You've got to be kidding me. Run. Run faster! That freaking sucks. Didn't it say I had all 100 with me when I was leaving? Right, I mean, okay, I had 90 Pikmin carrying stuff back, but I had 10 under my control for a good long time until I got back to base. There's no reason he should have been that far away. Alright, guess we have to do it all again. Oh, we gotta watch this cutscene again. Cool. <laughs> Great. Yep, accurate. Ah, I swear sometimes Pikmin 2 gives you the wrong number on the counter. Like, I swear I had all of my Pikmin under my control until I got back to base. You know what? We can. We now know what awaits us here, so we can do it more efficiently. <laughs> I said land in the area. Oh, maybe I push B instead. That's my bad. Well, <laughs> we go back tomorrow and do exactly the same thing that we did today, only this time we do it good. <laughs> How do you redeem sound effects? Go to channel point rewards. So as as you watch as you watch my streams, you'll get Artie Bucks, aka channel points, and you'll be able to redeem them for stuff. So you can redeem them for like playing custom music during uh, custom music randomizers, but you can also redeem them for specific sound effects. So there's some good stuff in there. Okay, I believe you. Exactly. At least we now know we don't have to go back to where Louie used to be. Okay, maybe I've been under... White Pikmin are great. They're so fast. I really like that. Witchcraft. <laughs> and here, here goes our us going through all of the different sound alerts. <laughs> That's great. Oh, wait. That's right, I do have to drain the water. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent, Smithers. Um... Okay, there we go. Come on, just dig it, dig, dig up the artichoke that's somehow buried under snow. Makes perfect logical sense. Alright, now we get the uh, cannon beetles to shoot each other again. Oh, that only... If you can hit them in their... Cake? <laughs> Should have redeemed that in Glutton's Kitchen. 
We get the artichoke card again. Hooray! Shoot another one. Okay, that one needs to kill them. Oh, ouch. Ouch. And that's with the Metal Suit Z, man. Take that. Gotta go back and get our Pikmin. Do do. <laughs> ah, no worries. Do 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 do. Avoid the water dumples. Avoid the cannon larva. I don't think they ever bothered translating the president's voice out of Japanese. Because I think what he says in Japanese literally means, like, president of the company. Submit! <laughs> That's my favorite sound alert. Along with, oh, are you having cake? All the more. Alright, this should give us plenty of time to get the treasure back. We also, I guess, worst case, could take a dip in, like, the subterranean complex or the frontier cavern just to make a save point throughout the day. Oh, hi. I forgot about you. go. Alright. They can knock down the gate. Blue Pikmin can build the bridge. Captains can beat up the beetle at the top of the hill. No. No withering blowhog. You don't get... No. I see what you're doing. You suck. He's trying to lure me to the bottom of the hill so that the larva will be able to snipe me from above. Come on over here. The water's great. There we go. Die. Good lord. It's like th that's like a 10 degree incline, and there it's so hard for the captains to walk up it. <laughs> so uh, it says here that you worked as an explorer for Hakate Freight. What what jobs did that entail? <laughs> Uh, highlight your message. I think that all that literally does is marks your message in like a highlighted font so that it's easier for me to notice it. Don't bother with that one. I, I read Twitch. <laughs> like th those those help if you're in a Twitch chat that has like thousands of people that are all talking at the same time to help you get noticed. 
it's also that's that's just an automatic reward no matter what your channel is like. So for smaller channels like mine, it's completely useless. Don't even bother with it. Also, the play custom music one is exclusive for custom music randomizers or games where I can play custom music. Because Pikmin 2 has its own music, I don't I don't redeem those. There we go, at last. Alright. All you blue Pikmin this way. Look how slow they're moving up the hill. Again, it's like a 10 degree incline. I know it's in the snow, but still, it's ridiculous. And also, it's constantly sucking me down the hill, even though, like, again, it's a 10 degree incline. This time, I'm not gonna forget about anybody. See, that's only 85 of them. Where did the others go? See, again, only 85. I should have more Pikmin than that. Exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. Apparently, some of them are at the red onion? Because apparently the white Pikmin brought back something that could be harvested. I'm very confused. Okay, we don't we don't need him. Oh wait. Just in case. Stay There's always one. There's always one Pikmin where after you just miss all Pikmin, he's like, Nope, I'm still going with you. He's like, no, you're, you're definitely not. Yes, right, come on. Oh my gosh, is that... That... I, wow, that boulder was literally stuck, again, on kind of like the 20 degree incline. That's ridiculous. All right, just carry the crown back. All of the enemies should be out of your way now. So it shouldn't be an issue. We're going to double check to make sure that everything's back there. Oh yeah, De <laughs> feel free to write your ideas down. Okay, so what the heck did these guys bring back? Oh no, did another blue Pikmin get left behind somewhere? Dar you kidding me? Those blue Pikmin are the stupidest! Did he literally just voluntarily let go of the crown just so he would try to get left behind at sunset? I literally saw him just be like, No! Stay behind. Wow, that's a big crown. Yeah! Peach has got it.
Cool. That's all a hundred of them. You all go back. I thought there was someone buried there. <laughs> Princess Preacher's crown. <laughs> or Princess Peacher. <laughs> oh! They better not get eaten by that. here. Wow, I just sequence broke. You are not supposed to be able to get that without defeating the burrowing snake rip, but I did it anyways. If one of those white Pikmin had gotten eaten, I would have been super ticked. Pink menace. <laughs> Hurry, gather your Pikmin. Alright. Here they are. Let's go to sunset before anything else happens. Let's end this day. We got quite a few of the overworld treasures for Valley of Repose. In fact, there might... I think there are only two left? Maybe only one. The only one I can think of is the one inside the fiery bull blacks. That's going to be a tough one to get. Lift off! Oh, look at all the decorated cannon beetles now. Or cannon larva, or whatever they're called. Today's report... Hey, we got free treasures from the overworld. That's that's impressive. Yay! <laughs> it's the president's wife. Hmph, some president you are. I just got back from vacation to find out you're on a treasure hunt. Well, don't bother coming home until you've found every item on your list. <laughs> Isn't that nice of the president's wife to be sending him that? <laughs> 